What is going on guys? PVM till 7am here and this is uh, my flipping guide. I got 20 mil coins, exactly 20 mil. So let's see how much money I can make at the end, like by the end of this video, just by teaching you. So I hope this video helps. It's going to help you make some money and enjoy. Price flipping is actually pretty simple to understand once you see how it's done. Um, so to get started, um, we're, we're going to choose items that are constantly in use. So that would be potions, raw fish, cooked fish, um, you know, ores, thing, things that people are constantly buying. And yeah, just items like that. There's actually a section on the Grand Exchange on uh, RuneScape website where you can see what items are being bought the most daily. Uh, I'll give the link in the description for that. And if you can't really, you know, decide what items you want to buy, you can check that out and it might help you. But sometimes the prices are pretty close together. And if you don't understand what I mean by that, you'll understand in a couple seconds. So ju just choose items that you know people want. Uh, I, I like to go for like higher level cooked fish and potions and stuff, arrows, you know, ju just things that you know that people are going to use. So let, let's try this for an example. Uh, we'll go for a rune arrow. So to try rune arrow, obviously you type it in. And where are you? There you are. Awesome. What you want to do is first find out two prices. So you're going to buy this for, you know, as high as you want, and then it'll sell. So I bought it for 153 GP. So we're going to remember that number. We're instantly going to sell this one item back for a lot below the price. So we sold it for 152, I mean 151 GP. So right there is a poor example. You do not want to flip this because the price difference is only 2 GP. But see how I got these two prices? You would buy it for 151 GP and then sell it for 152. And the reason why I say 152 is because you want to put it underneath that price so that it sells before anybody else's does. Because when you put in a high offer, this is the first item that was sold. So if you're cheaper than that price, then your item will sell first, which will make this progress a lot faster. Okay, so let's try a different item. Let's go for a more expensive item. Uh, super Strength Potion. Super Strength Potion 4. Okay, let's figure out the price. So you buy it high above, and I bought it for 5872. Now we're going to sell it instantly back for a lot below it. Wonderful. Okay, 5628. So if you look into history, you got these two prices. That's almost 250 GP difference. That is a fair amount um, for the price of it. Not really, but we're going to try it anyways. So, oops, I need to know those prices. I'm going to buy it at 500... 5650 and this is just so I can buy it quicker you can buy it at that price it'll slowly sell to you but you know faster is better so let's buy that super strength at 5650 so then you want to buy a couple I'm gonna buy 2000 and yeah, basically now we just played a waiting game, so I'm going to pause the video until some of the items sell, and then I'll, you know, keep on going with the video. So I went ahead and canceled the order because I waited a half an hour and none sold. Sometimes that does happen, not too often. I don't know why none sold. So I, you know took the time and found an item that's actually worth buying um so it was prey potion 3 the difference is about 350 gp which is good and since it's 3500 that's about a 10 percent increase 
which is, you know, kind of what you want is the more money you make per GP, the better. So let's go ahead and try with that. We got our two prices. So I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy them at 3180. So prayer potion. Okay, buy that 3180. And I have enough for a few, so I'll buy 4,000. And now we wait. That, this was from another flip attempt. I spent 80, like 84K just to make 700 GP. So that was kind of a big risk for a little bit amount of money. So not really worth it. Don't ever do that. <laughs> I don't know why I did it. You know, I, I was just trying out the item, so don't do that. Don't don't go for a 1% increase. It's not even worth it. So anyways, here we go again. We're going to wait for these to sell now. All right, so it's been about four minutes, and uh, I got a few here, so we're going to continue with the flip. Um, you, you can do this. Um. I like to do fire making or fletching or alking while I'm flipping just so that I'm right beside the GE but I'm not wasting time you know you still get those XP gains while making money anyways so since we bought it for uh, 30, almost 3200 and they sold for 35 we're gonna sell it for 3420 so it's you, you know you are making your profits lower when you try to make it sell faster but you know if you can keep on making it sell faster and then you keep on buying more and more back and forth your profits are actually higher than they would be if you you know save that 60 GP or 80 sorry so in that about five minutes with the 658 here um, once they sell the profits gonna be about 160 K so if you did that per hour wise that's almost two mil an hour but don't expect that because you know it is random you don't know if the items are going to sell as quick like next time i do this maybe tomorrow if i try the same item it might sell you know in a two minutes all four thousand can sell in two minutes and then i can sell it for even more so the prices and the profits do vary um I guess the only tips I can give you is skill right beside the GE. So light fires, do fletching, elk, do whatever, super heat if you really want to do that. Just do something that's going to allow you to have access to the grand exchange. And that will give you the best profits per hour from flipping. And if you can find other profitable skills that are, you know, in the bank, that's even better because then you're just doubling your profits and that's pretty much all there is to flipping um, if I miss something if there's something you don't understand just leave a comment or message me on runescape and I'll I don't know I'll message you back I hope I can and uh, I hope this guide helps and thanks for watching